start churning butter and put on your church shoes, little sister, because we're about to blast off. In the movie Ralph Breaks the Internet, Wreck-It Ralph doesn't see himself as a building smashing arcade game villain anymore. He just wants to be a video game good friend, or maybe even a hero. Three, two, one, go! So when his best pal Vanellope wants to spice up her arcade racing game, Ralph lends his big bashing hands to the task and ends up breaking everything. Now Vanellope and the other Sugar Rush racers may be out of a home for good. Especially since the part needed to repair the old arcade machine is way too expensive. If I'm not a racer, what am I? Oh, you're my best friend. It's up to Ralph and Vanellope to venture into that vast, wondrous, wish-fulfilling wonderland known as the internet. They'll be able to find this stuff called money and buy the needed part somewhere in that special utopia. Yeah, the big, thick-fisted Ralph can be a bit clumsy. And he makes silly choices sometimes, too. But surely even Ralph can't break the internet. This colorfully animated pic is creative to the max. It takes a few swings at cyberbullying and makes solid statements about the changing nature of friendship and the value of adoption. But along with all its silly adventures, Disney princess encounters, and fun Easter eggs, there's also lots of potty humor and snarky quips to contend with here. So I'll give Ralph Breaks the Internet a three and a half out of five for family friendliness. For more on this movie, check out PluggedIn.com. Plugging you into the movies, I'm Cheryl Wilhelmy for Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review.